Florida lobster season, a very popular time down in South Florida. People from all over come down to the small islands of the Florida Keys to catch their own lobster, making lobster catching one of the deadliest outdoor activities in South Florida during late July and August. However, for the crew on the vessel Real Hazardous, they love catching lobster and don't mind the danger. In order to beat the crowds, Team Real Hazardous leaves at dark so that they can be on their hole at first legal light. They plan to start with scuba tanks and hit the bigger ledges since they should be packed at this time. Jeremy and Christopher start off the morning with scuba tanks and it doesn't take them long to find their lobster. They work together tickling out lobster, measuring them, and then carefully putting them in the lobster bag. The regular season starts August 6th and runs through March 31st. However, there is also a two-day mini season that lasts Wednesday and Thursday of July. Since there has been no lobster caught in the past few months, and also there are no commercial traps allowed, the lobster are most plentiful during this time. However, because of this appeal, this is the most crowded part of the season for lobster hunters. Lobster like to hide in small ledges. To get them out, divers use something known as a tickle stick. By strategically touching the lobster at certain spots, divers can maneuver the lobster out of their ledge and into the net. Many newcomers make the mistake of jabbing or trying to force the lobster out with a tickle stick. But the key is to use it with precision and gently bring the lobster out of the hole. Trying to jab at them will only force the lobster back deeper into their hole. One thing many people don't know about catching lobster down in the Florida Keys is that the lobster there are known as spiny lobster, not the typical main lobster you may see in restaurants. The difference is the spiny lobster don't have claws, making it safer for the lobster hunters. Instead, lobster have antennas covered in spikes. With plenty of lobsters still around, it doesn't take long before the rest of the family limits out as well. Team Real Hazardous manages to catch their limit of 36 lobster in about an hour, leaving the rest of the day to recover and prepare for day two of mini season. So stay tuned for the next episode of Deadliest Lobster.